Hello and Namaste, my name is Nidhi Nagori and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to not be introducing but introducing for the second time a Canadian company that is hiring foreigners to work from home. They also have quite a bit of opportunities in office and you have a lot of hybrid positions as well. So there's a lot of opportunities that exist. So if you are interested, please make sure you stick around. Okay, so I've covered this company before. It's called TELUS International. It's one of the largest telecom uh, network providers in Canada per se. And I've done a video on them. I'm going to probably link it up in the eye or maybe you know, down in the description box somewhere. So it'll be there for you to see. But a lot of the links have changed. A lot of the roles have changed. A lot of requirements have changed. And because a lot of my audience was new and wanted more guidance, I felt like this video would probably help you guys. So thank you for requesting. As you know, I'm always reading and responding to your comments and that's how I actually plan my content as well. So please make sure you keep doing that in the comment section below. All right, so coming to tell us, like I said, they have positions all over the world. It's a Canadian company. So having this on your resume will obviously help you, whether you wanna work in Europe, whether you wanna work in the US, whether you wanna to move to Canada, having a global name always helps. And that's why I'm going to specifically be talking about the freelance opportunities. One, because the income that you can expect in this is going to be a lot. I'm going to pop up some screenshots over here about success stories of people who you know, use this website and have actually made a lot of money out of it. So obviously, if you're looking at a freelance opportunity in a big Canadian company, then I think this is an excellent fit. And this is something that's open to all. There's no age restriction. There's no experience restriction. There's basically no restriction at all. So I feel like this is an opportunity that's worth exploring for everyone. All right, so once you go to TELUS International, you see this entire map. This has all the countries that TELUS has a presence in and all the countries that they have opportunities in. For the sake of convenience, I'm using India as my example in this video, but please make sure that you pick whatever your home country is or wherever you are currently residing and you have the work authorization for. So once I select India, I see this entire list of jobs that come up. You can also see AI community written on top. And that's how you know that you're looking into the right field and space. One thing that I do quickly want to point out is that it's great to work in AI. I mean, we all know that artificial intelligence is picking up and how. It's one of the most upcoming fields. So I think when it comes to money, when it comes to a good brand name, especially if you want to work outside of India or your home country, and when it comes to the field itself, I think this is a great combo. And that's why so many of my subscribers on YouTube and so many of my followers on Instagram have seen success. So once you see this entire career portal, now you can feel free to apply to any kind of job that you like. I am only going to be looking at freelance opportunities. So now when I select a job type, I see a variety of offerings. I see business process outsourcing. I see digital solutions. I see freelance and I also see support positions. You can feel free to apply to whatever is a good fit for you. I, for the sake of convenience, will only look at the freelance opportunities here. So I'm gonna to go to the freelance, hit search, and now I see a variety of roles pop up. So we're gonna quickly discuss what these roles are just so that you have a little bit of understanding about what you're applying into. So the first role that we see up here is the internet safety evaluator. The good thing about these projects is that many of them are also available in regional languages. I often get questions, you know, from people about what is it that somebody who's 40, 45, 50 can do. Now, since English is not a restriction, this is definitely something that they can consider doing because there is no age barrier, there's no language barrier, there's no education experience barrier. And if they're fluent in the regional language itself, definitely something that they can do. So in the internet safety evaluator, you will be given some search terms and you just have to put it on whatever your search engine is and see what videos you come across. And then you have to rate the videos according to the search term, like which one did you think is the most appropriate or they'll give you some criteria to rate it on. Uh, but it's not something that's heavily taxing. Simple job, but then again, somebody who can actually watch videos. If it were me, I could never do this because I cannot watch videos or I cannot really see movies or longer videos for that matter. Kind of funny that I create videos, um, but I cannot watch them. So not a good fit for someone like me, but yeah, if you can watch videos, uh, then I do think that this is, you know, a good one. The second kind of role that I see is personalized internet assessor. In this, you will be reviewing online search content to basically rate them. So again, you'll be probably given some terms or you'll be given some criteria and you'll do some search on your search engine. And then whatever you see on your search engine, you will take that and provide your rating. Like how appropriate was it? 
Did it match your search term, etc. The next role that I see is Search Query Evaluator. This is going to be similar to the Personalized uh, Internet Assessor, but I think there'll be more criteria in the Personalized Internet Assessor and not in the Search Evaluation one. The third kind of role that we see is Media Search Analyst role. You'd probably be asked to look through a bunch of media, which includes social media, includes TV media, etc. And there'll be a web evaluation tool. So you will have to put in your ratings Again, you'll be rating a lot of the media that you see. It's only meant for somebody who can watch media, who can watch content for long. So if you're somebody who can do that, then again, you know, good fit for you. The next role that I see here is the AI Community Surfer. This is going to be similar to the search evaluation query. Again, you'll be given queries, you have to do your search, but the kind of system that you'll be searching in will be different than I think just a regular search engine, but overall still very similar to the search query evaluator. And then the last kind of roles that I see is the personalized internet ads assessor. So you will be given certain keywords and you will do a search and you'll see what kind of ads pop up and you will rate the ads. You basically are working to make the AI more efficient. So every time you put in a search word or search term in the search engine and you kind of rate, you know, what kind of ads come up, what kind of videos come up, what kind of um, news articles or whatever come up and you rate and then you say, you know, what is it that matched the search query the most? And then companies will use this data to then develop their AI tools and make it more fine and have a lot more finesse. So you're really contributing towards tomorrow's AI, if I may say so. And I feel like it's a fun role. Of course, it pays really well, so something that most of us must try. Now, I know I've only covered the freelance section in this video. There are a lot of in-person opportunities as well. There's a lot of remote, hybrid, um, whatever you want to do. So make sure that you go through the other roles as well, the digital solutions, the BPO, especially if you're looking at anything that's full time. But again, I think the freelance ones are equally good and you should give a chance. Like I said, a lot, lot, lot of my followers have seen success. Um, so I really wish that you give it a try. I'll leave the link in the description box or in the pinned comment for you to check out. And I sincerely hope that you apply to these roles and this amazing company. Um, get a good company on your resume, make some money out of it and do some interesting work. That's what all of us want to do at the end of it, right? And that's my job as a creator to bring these opportunities to you and make it more accessible to you. On that note, this video has come to an end. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Please let me know in the comments if you did. Please let me know whether you're considering applying to this role or not. And of course, let me know which other country, which other company you'd like me to cover. Is there any company, any country that you really want to work in? But do a freelance uh, position first. Let me know and I'll do my research and I'll come up with some opportunities for you. I promise to see you in the next video with a very different background because by then I'll be in Kolkata or Murshidabad or some other part of India. And also make sure you follow me on Instagram because I'm touring India and I'm taking you to different places, eating some amazing food, but not doing it in a very like creative way, but just doing it in a very regular everyday life way. So hope to meet you virtually or in person in some part of my journey today or maybe sometime in future. And until I see you again, please make sure you take very good care of yourself. Stay safe. Namaste.